BP is facing serious citations and fines from OSHA after the explosion that killed two workers in the fall. This comes after a six month long federal investigation into the explosion and what went wrong. Kaylee Marantet is live near the refinery in Oregon tonight. Kaylee, what do we know about these citations? Melissa, the conclusion that OSHA came to is that BP violated U.S. Department of Labor safety procedures and failed to properly train its workers. OSHA found that what apparently led up to this explosion is that there were rising liquid levels in the fuel gas drum mix. Workers tried to control that and in that a flammable vapor formed that caught fire, which caused the explosion. BP was cited for what OSHA calls 10 serious violations and one other than serious violation. OSHA has proposed $156,000 in fines, which is determined by federal statutes. The, the, the penalty amounts issued in this case in, in no way reflects the value of, of these two gentlemen's lives. Uh, these penalties are, are set by law and there's only so much we can do as, as far as how high or how low, how low the penalties can go. A month before the explosion, BP announced the sale of the refinery to Synovus Energy, who just became the 100% owner and operator two weeks ago. Even though Synovus owned half of the plant at the time of the fire, they will not receive any fines. BP Products North America is receiving the citations and the fines because they were operating the refinery at the time of the, the accident. But we, my office will be working with Synovus to abate the citations and, and fix these problems going forward so that they don't happen in the future. The two workers, brother Ben and Max Morrissey, died from their injuries in the explosion in September. Both belong to USW Local 1-346. In a statement today, the Union Hall wrote, The USW appreciates OSHA's work in investigating the deaths of two of our union brothers at the BP Husky Toledo refinery. While no penalty, penalties or fines could ever make up for the lost human lives, we welcome their findings and their efforts to hold BP accountable. Moving forward, our union remains committed to working with OSHA and Synovus, the facility's new owner, to ensure this type of tragedy never happens again. BP has 15 business days to respond to this and have a meeting with OSHA's area director. And the union will also have a part in those conversations to try and negotiate some of those citations and fines. The refinery remains closed with the goal to start reopening in May. Reporting live in Oregon, Kaylee Marinsett, WTOL 11.